वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस दिस इज क्लास सिक्स केमिस्ट्री डियर चिल्ड्रेन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस चैप्टर टू दैट इज एलिमेंट्स कंपाउंड्स एंड मिक्सचर डियर चिल्ड्रेन नाउ यू ओपन ऑन पेज फिफ्टीन इट इज ऑन पेज फिफ्टीन इट इज ऑम आप एक्टिविटीज देयर so observe and name any five things around you classify them as solid liquid or gas so here things you name it and the things which is that is liquid or gas or solid you mention it here in this column and in this column you write down that is which kind of material so today we will discuss that is chapter 2 elements compounds and mixture in previous classes we have learnt about matter and its states we have also learnt that various states of matter are the result of different arrangements of their molecules In this chapter we will study about the composition of matter in detail. We can classify matter on the basis of some similarities and dissimilarities in their composition. Now we can classify this is similarities or dissimilarities in the composition. Now example let, let us see water and oil are both liquids. but the differ from each other because their composition is different dear children we have seen the water and oil by seeing we will know this is two these two are liquids but they are different from each other in water is some element is there in oil also some element is there so they are different from each other now let us see the in the case of salt and sugar salt and sugar are solids but they are made up of different kinds of matter and hence they differ from each other now let us see salt and sugar by testing salt it we feel that is salty and sugar we feel that is sweet so they are different from each other though they are solid now let us see the next page the substances may be pure or impure homogeneous or heterogeneous impure substances contain other substances also in trace amount so here question comes what is substance okay then what is homogeneous and heterogeneous so dear children then now let us we discuss what is substance so what is substance a substance is a matter that has definite definite properties and composition every every pure compound and element is a substance so there are some substance we can see their characteristics a substance is a pure single form of matter that is it cannot be separated into other kinds of matter by any physical pro pro process the substance must be composed of atoms and molecules 
दिस आर द फिजिकल्स ना एग्जाम्पल इफ यू सी द सबस्टेंस दैट इज सुगर सोडियम क्लोराइड एंड आयन दिस आर द सबस्टेंस ना लेट अस सी द होमोजेनियस सबस्टेंस इन ए केमिस्ट्री सो होमोजेनियस एस यू स्टडी व्हाट इज होमोजेनियस ए केमिकल सिस्टम द पार्ट्स ऑफ व्हिच कैन नॉट बी मैकेनिकली सेपरेटेड एंड व्हिच हैज यूनिफॉर्म फिजिकली प्रॉपर्टीज थ्रू आउट इट्स मास और वॉल्यूम सो इट कैन नॉट बी सेपरेटेड ओके इट कैन नॉट बी ब्रोकन डाउन इन दिस होमोजेनियस सब्सटेंसेस सो दिस इज कॉल्ड होमोजेनियस हेट्रोजेनियस व्हाट इज हेट्रोजेनियस द सब्सटेंस दैट डू नॉट हैव यूनिफॉर्म कंपोजिशन आर कॉल्ड हेट्रोजेनियस सब्सटेंसेस सो हेट्रोजेनियस सब्सटेंसेस दे डू नॉट हैव द यूनिफॉर्म कंपोजिशन ओके दे डू नॉट हैव यूनिफॉर्म कंपोजिशन इन द अदर केस होमोजेनियस सब्सटेंसेस दे हैव यूनिफॉर्म कंपोजिशन एंड दे आर दे कैन नॉट बी सेपरेटेड और दे कैन नॉट बी ब्रोक डाउन ओके ब्रोकन डाउन सो दिस इज कॉल्ड होमोजेनियस एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड हेट्रोजेनियस सब्सटेंसेस ओके देन इफ वी सी व्हाट इज मैटर सो मैटर इज दैट इज द टेम मैटर रेफर्स टू एनीथिंग दैट ऑक्युपाई स्पेस एंड हैज मास इन अदर वर्ड्स द स्टाफ दैट द वेरियस इज मेड ऑफ ऑल मैटर इज मेड अप ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस कॉल्ड एलिमेंट्स व्हिच हैव स्पेसिफिक केमिकल एंड फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज एंड कैन नॉट बी ब्रोकन डाउन इनटू अदर सब्सटेंसेस थ्रू ऑर्डिनरी केमिकल रिएक्शन सो मैटर इज दैट इट रेफर्स व्हाट वी सी इन द मास ओके और स्पेस इज एग्जिस्टिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड मैटर सो ना लेट अस सी द प्योर सब्सटेंसेस सो व्हाट इज प्योर सब्सटेंसेस सब्सटेंसेस व्हिच कंटेन पार्टिकल्स ऑफ ओनली वन काइंड आर कॉल्ड प्योर सब्सटेंसेस सो द सब्सटेंसेस व्हिच कंटेन व्हिच रिमेंस पार्टिकुलरली वन काइंड और वन सिंगल थिंग्स इट इज कॉल्ड प्योर सब्सटेंसेस प्योर सब्सटेंसेस आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स सो प्योर सब्सटेंसेस देयर आर टू टाइप्स दैट इज एलिमेंट्स एंड कंपाउंड ओके सो एलिमेंट व्हाट इज एलिमेंट एलिमेंट्स आर मेड अप ऑफ ओनली वन काइंड ऑफ एटम्स सो दिस एलिमेंट्स आर दैट इज मेड अप ऑफ वन काइंड ऑफ एटम्स दिस दिस इज मेड अप दिस इज ए क्रिएटेड और इट इज ए क्रिएटेड ऑफ सिंगल थिंग और वन काइंड ऑफ एटम्स ओके compounds are made up of only one kind of molecules here the elements is made up of atoms here compound is made up of one kind of molecules both elements and compounds have unique properties like fixed melting and boiling points specific gravity etc they are both homogeneous they have uniform composition the substances that do not have uniform composition are called heterogeneous substances so this one we are we maybe few minute before we we have seen what is uh, heterogeneous substances that is the substances that do not have uniform composition okay that is called heterogeneous substances now let us see the elements what is elements matter is composed of certain basic substances called elements so what is element so matter is composed so this matter is composed it is created certain basic substance okay certain basic substance through taking of the substance that is called elements an elements is a substance that cannot be broken 
into similar substances by any physical or chemical means so this element is cannot be broken down by any physical or chemical means so through this physical or chemical we cannot be break down this elements for example what are the elements example let us see gold silver mercury sulfur hydrogen and oxygen are some elements then let us see this elements how many are there there are 118 known elements today so today we have 118 elements among this 118 92 elements out of these are naturally occurring okay this 92 are naturally they are naturally element and the remaining 26 elements are made artificially so 26 are artificially this is man made elements okay an elements is composed of minute particles of its own kind called atom so what is atom so atom is that element is composed of minute particles of its own kind called atom an atom is the smallest unit of an elements that shows all the properties of that element so this atom is a smallest unit okay this is a smallest unit that it shows what properties of that element some atoms are capable of independent exist existence while other are found in combination with atoms of the same element of different elements so some atoms are they remain independently they remain single and some atoms are they remain combination they remain together so for example an atom of sodium can exist freely but an atom of hydrogen cannot be exist independently and hence combines with another atom of hydrogen to form a molecular a molecule molecular represents the smallest unit in which a pure substance can be divided without losing its basic nature or identity so they cannot lose or their identity now let us see the characteristic the characteristic of an elements elements has the following properties an element cannot be broken into similar substances by physically or chemical means as it is the fundamental substance of matter it is pure substance as it has atom of only one kind so it is a pure substance it is not mixed with all the mixture or all uh, kind of mix it is not there so it is a pure substance uh, one kind or single type of substance now let us see it can exist independently as well as in combination with other elements elements combine to form compound elements exist in all three states of matter that is solid liquid and gas classification of elements so on the basis of their properties elements can be classified into metals non metals metalloids and non or inert gases these are the classified of elements what are the metals non metals metalloid and noble or inert gases now let us see metals majority of non elements are metals gold silver iron copper platinum aluminum tin zinc sodium potassium lead calcium etc are all metals most metals 
are found in the earth's crust. However, some metals are also found inside seas and ocean. So these metals where we found because of earth crust and some are the some are the metals we find where inside the seas and ocean. Now let us see non metals. What is non metals? Non metals are found in abundance in nature. So in the nature we find this non metals in plenty we find. So they are mainly found in the crust, atmosphere and oceans of the earth. So this non metals how we find? Because of crust, atmosphere and in the ocean we find. Find, okay. So examples hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, chlorine, phosphorus, sulfur, etc. are non metals. So these are the example of non metal. Now let us see the metalloid. What are the metalloid? So metalloid is that is uh, elements that uh, possess the properties of both metals and non metals are called metalloids. So metalloids are mixed with these two metals and non metals. That is called metalloid. So let us see the examples boron, silicon, arsenic and antimony are some metalloids. They are solid, shine, shiny or dull, dustical, malleable and conduct heat and electricity better than non-metals but not as well as metals. So these are the examples of metalloid. Now let us see that is noble or inert gases. So what is this? Let us see. There are some elements that are present in gaseous state and do not react chemically with other so there are, do not react chemically with other elements such elements are called noble or inert gases so they do not react with any with any other chemical okay so they are helium neon Aragon, Krypton, then Xenon and Radon are noble or inert gases. These gases are present only in trace in air. So these are present in air. Okay. So thank you for watching this video.